What is up with Charles? I've been on the track and I'm back with another video. Today I wanted to show you guys a brand new FL Studio feature that is, in my opinion, one of the most helpful tips and tricks that they added into the DAW. So if you go over here, let's say you got a piano pulled up and you go into the piano roll, we now have the ability to snap uh, notes to the grid in a specific scale. Now previously we were able to uh, show a different scale but now we are able to snap it to the grid. If you go over here and you go to view, you can do scale highlighting and you can snap to scale. So let's say you wanted to go, uh, let's say minor melodic or minor harmonic, right? You can now snap it to the scale. And if you go back into it and go to um, the notes, now we can go E minor, F minor, uh, whatever scale you want. Before you could still, uh, you know, kind of pick the wrong note, you would still have to kind of go off of ear, even if it was highlighted. But now it doesn't even allow you to pick the wrong note. If you scroll up, you can see that it skips over notes that are not in the scale. So you want to focus on the highlighted notes. And this can be super effective if you are trying to build your ear. I know when you're not using the scale highlighting feature and you're trying to build melodies off of ear, it can be, what's the word? A little more challenging for someone that is a beginner. But with this, if you just skip every other uh, note that's highlighted, you can easily build chords. Super easy to build chords now. And like I said, we're just following that module of skipping the note, the next note. And like I said, it's literally impossible to pick the wrong note when it's snapped to the scale. As you can see, really quick chord progression. And once again, it's impossible to pick the wrong note. Everything's gonna sound good. Super effective for someone that wants to, um, you know, draw melodies in. Let's go ahead and create a quick top melody real quick so you guys can get a better idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and walk it up. We're not gonna go ahead into the whole thing. So as you can see, you guys can draw in pretty cool melodies like that. Obviously it's not done. I didn't do all of the uh, velocity changes and stuff that, you know, I would probably go into more detail afterwards, but I think that's a pretty cool feature, man. You don't have to worry about choosing the wrong notes at all. You now can snap everything to the grid and pretty much draw in perfect melodies all going by the scale that you want to go by. So with that being said, man, make sure you guys use this tip to create better melodies. I'm Evan on the track. I'm out, man. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what y'all want to see next.